when it isn't fun anymore, what's the point? I definitely get like pushing yourself and I love to push myself. I think it's really good to ch challenge yourself and it can be fun, but especially when you're doing something together with someone else, you want your goals to align. And I think that's, you know, that's a big thing that we learned from this. This is a story about the long trail. Two people that have flown from Arizona to Vermont to hike across the state through the green mountains up and down the boulders across the slippery roots through the mud two people that love to do this the Vermont Long Trail is roughly 270 miles starting at the Canadian border and going all the way down to Massachusetts it is an extremely technical trail but doesn't require much navigational skills and really the biggest thing that you can go out there and have that would be in your advantage would be stubbornness and time. Before starting this hike, we prepared and planned in the ways that we normally might, looking into weather, looking at past experiences from other people and how we might be able to relate it to our own. We read trip reports, looked at elevation profiles and tried to plan out our resupplies. There was something, actually two somethings, that kept coming up over and over and over again. Anytime we looked into the long trail and the experiences of those that had done it before, the things we kept seeing time and time again were how hard Mount Mansfield and Camel's Hump were going to be. Mount Mansfield is the highest point in Vermont, and I believe Camel's Hump is the third highest point in Vermont. Even when getting a ride to the trail, our shuttle driver told us about how rough those climbs would be. I don't think there was a single person that told us that, hey, it's not so bad. As we were approaching Mount Mansfield, Lotus had been feeling better, our miles were starting to pick up. Every viewpoint, you could see it off in the distance. Just a rocky bald that was almost haunting you. Most climbs on the East Coast, on the Appalachian Trail, and on the Long Trail are fairly short, maybe a mile upwards. That is just incredibly steep. But you never go too much further than that. It seemed like Mount Mansfield, however, was a much longer climb. That this wasn't just gonna happen in 20 minutes. We weren't gonna be able to just run up there. As we found out, it is truly just the last half mile or so that is what people were talking about. In my opinion, it wasn't nearly as bad as everyone had said. Sure, there was a little bit of scrambling involved, a little bit of hands may be necessary, and certainly if our packs were heavier, or if maybe we were a little bit less experienced, this most certainly would be as treacherous as everyone had said. So instead of being something to dread and not look forward to, instead, it was so much fun to be scrambling up the side of this rock face there were most certainly some little steep parts, but nothing was too bad, and certainly not as bad as everyone had made it to seem. And after finishing the little climbing portion, you are blessed at the top with 360 degree views of Vermont. It is truly one of the most beautiful views, if not the most beautiful view of the entire trail. It was one of the most memorable and one of the most fun parts of the entire hike. After concluding with that, we have a long descent down to our resupply in Waterbury. 
and then we begin our long climb back up all the way to Camel's Hump. As something I've learned time and time again, usually when someone describes something as being hard or difficult or overly challenging, those are the things that in the end I'm going to enjoy the most. So instead of dreading Camel's Hump, like maybe we're dreading Mansfield, I'm really looking forward to hiking up Camel's Hump too. So coming out here, I felt like I had my legs under me. You know, that I was ready to go. That if I wanted, I could push and do this trail in less than 10 days. I was feeling fantastic. Well, East Coast comes and gives you a little smack for saying stuff like that and even thinking it. Our first day, we spent in the rain. From the morning to the evening, all day it rained. It was probably the most miserable of first days on a long distance through hike that I've ever endured. Lotus and I were essentially hazed into the long trail and back into East Coast hiking since we had both been living out west for the past two years. Of course the rain made for a miserable time, but the terrain itself is over these rocks and over these roots and you're never just walking on a nice, clean, well-graded trail. You are constantly having to think about your steps and think about your foot placement. And these rocks are slick. These roots are slick. There's nothing easy about it. In some ways, it's like a jungle gym. But when you're trying to hike 18 miles through a jungle gym, it's not so easy. And it can take a toll on your joints and on your muscles. I remember towards the end of the day, it's still raining. The wind is howling. We're going over a bald peak. And here we are, descending a rock wall. Down and down and down. 1,000 feet per mile. We set up our tent in hopes that tomorrow would be better. Tomorrow is almost always better. I figure I am out here with Lotus and I want to enjoy this trail with Lotus. That that is why we're doing it together in the first place. If we're gonna be out here, we're gonna be out here together. Whether that means we finish the trail or not. We've both hiked the Appalachian Trail before. So at the very least, if we can make it to Killington, we've done it as that is where the Appalachian Trail and the Long Trail connect. As much as I love being out west, I love even more walking across these mountains, struggling up these steep, steep climbs and steep descents. I love thinking about every step. I love the boulders, I love the roots, I love the mud. We chose to come out at the time that we did. I think it's somewhere around September 15th. In hopes that we would get some fall colors, that the leaves would be changing, that it wouldn't be the green tunnel that everyone may think of the East Coast. That here we are, at the beginning of fall. I think we could have waited an extra week even and have gotten better colors then. But, it's something you're never gonna really truly know when you're booking flights and making plans many, many months in advance. This was something that I'd always wanted to do, was hike the long trail in the fall. Personally, I don't think there is any time other than the fall that I would want to be here.